Greetings YouTubers, this is a 6 here. Today I'll be showing you how to add a music player to your Tumblr page. In this case we'll be using uh, GrooveShark. Um, what's so great about GrooveShark is that it's a lot simpler to use. You can actually customize how big your widget is. I mean, if for purposes, um, I made it the exact width of my uh, videos that I take on my iPod. And let's see here, scroll down. Yeah. That's probably the biggest um, box in the whole entire page, aside from the uh, title. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll show you how to customize it. It's really simple, and I'll show you how to add music. And all right, well, let's go. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go to widgets.grooveshark.com/make. That will bring you to this page. Um, um, right now. There's only two options, and and they are the Chain Leon. I can't. Uh, how do you say Chain Leon? I don't know. And you have single song. Obviously, you don't want single song because you want to have a multiplayer, uh, multi-song playlist. What's wrong with my English? Um, yeah. So you want to choose this one. Down here, you're going to choose the dimensions. Um, how I found the dimensions of this is what I did was I went over and I hit a uh, print screen that basically takes a snapshot of this whole entire picture and I opened um, I opened Photoshop if you don't have Photoshop um, I don't know any other way you can find the pixels of your uh, screen and I'll show you and I'll show you why because like whenever you open a Photoshop file you're always going to go to new and when you copy something from your clipboard it's going to give you the dimensions like that. Obviously, the widget player is not going to be 16,000 by 900 uh, pixels. So this is what I did. I took a, I took my rulers, and I just aligned the video of the. Uh, um, yeah, I took the uh, rulers and I just aligned them with the edge of the video, and I just determined how big the uh, box was. So I just did that, and now I drag it, and your selection tool will automatically hook onto the. Uh, which we call it the uh, rulers, and then I hit Control C, uh, contr the Control C. This time I'm hitting Control X, cause um, you know just for the safety of it. Then when I go to New, it gives me the uh, it gives me the pixels. See, so I have it 500 and uh, 128. Mine was uh, 500 by uh, 150. So yeah, but that's how I found my pixels. You you I don't know any other way you can do this. If you can do this with uh, Microsoft Paint, then uh, uh, go for it. But after that, after you enter your dimensions, I'm gonna five hundred by one fifty. You're gonna have to choose your colors. Uh, based on my uh, design. Uh, the uh, what you call it, the, the theme, my Tumblr theme. I have uh, white, a uh, gray, and those are basically the only two standard colors I have. So once again, in Photoshop, actually, yeah. So what I did was in Photoshop, I found what the color of this thing was. It turned out to be, uh, uh, what you call it, pound sign six squared. That's just six sixes. I didn't feel like writing six 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 six. All right, but um, yeah. So my base color, um, depending on what um, what your uh, background is, if you have like a uh, a custom a picture for a background, um, I recommend finding a color that will match it. Cause here I'll show you. Cause your base color is going to be this black outlining. Your secondary color is going to be the Groove Shark logo. Your primary color is the color that's inside. So to match mine, we're going to do this. Base color is going to be white. I want this to blend in with my background, not stand out. And there we go. And unfortunately, I can't see my freaking text. So what I'm going to do is go to primary color, uh, secondary color. Whoops. Go to there. Go to white. Bada bing, bada boom. And then go to, uh, instead of typing 6 F, we're going to type in 6 sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six. The freak, wait, six, 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 yeah, lies, there we go, much better.
it was it was green for some odd reason. After that, you're done. Then go to next step, and then you're gonna add some music. Oh, my favorite part. I can express my colorful music depiction vocabulary. Okay, um, pick a song, any song. I okay. I'm gonna go to. Show goes on by uh, Lupe Flasco. Cannot pronounce people's names, I swear. And once you hit the, um, when you find the song, click on the plus right there. The plus. And then we go to and scroll down to the bottom of the page, and the song is going to be right here. This is going to be your selected song. So any song you select, it's going to be right here. And then I'm going to add some more. Uh, Random Coldplay. Uh, let's do Viola Vida. Clocks. Not yellow. Uh, don't panic. Life in Technicolor Part Two. And that's about it. You can add as m many songs as you want. I have never came across a limit. Um, I have like about ten songs, but you can add up to like twenty-five. <laughs> Doesn't matter. But yeah, these are my songs. Then after that. Going to hit finish. Now you can add a playlist. Um, the only problem with that is, is if you create your own playlist, chances are it may not even show up here because this is like um, you, you can only find it if it's popular. That's the only problem. I tried renaming mine. Um, you know, several freaky names. I couldn't find it at all for some odd reason. But um, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. So after that, you're going to hit finish, and then you have your uh, custom uh, HTLM code. HTLM code. So what you're going to do is you're going to click copy code. This will automatically copy it to my clipboard, and then we're going to go to back to my blog as we stumble along on life's funny journey. Okay, click um, customize, and then go to appearance. Oops, go to theme. Whoops. And, um, actually, let me close this. Wait, no, cancel. Whoop, no. But yeah, when you go to themes, click on custom HTML, and you're going to come here. If you're already a coder, then this should be really easy for you. Uh, scroll down, um, to where you can find, uh, okay. Scroll down to this. Oh, crap. Uh, scroll down to when you can see something that says body right here. You can also use Control F or Control F, eh, like so, and just and type in uh, nope. Type in shift carrot uh body carrot, and you can find it right there. And there's only one of one, so that's really simple. And directly after, see, I already uh, pasted it, but I'm going to delete this, get rid of it, and then directly after body, I'm going to paste, I'm going to paste, I'm going to paste, what the freak, won't go in, ugh, alright, copy code, copy, alright, now, attach, attach, Oh my god. Uh, I must do this manually. Curse you technology copy. Alright. There we go. Okay. Can't trust that copy button anymore. But you're going to paste it. And after that, you're going to click uh, save. Or actually, yeah, you're going to click. You're going to click save and close. The uh, reason why I'm not going to do it is because that's just going to completely wipe out my old one, so I'm just going to hit cancel. But after you paste it, make sure body, make sure you're after the word body, the code is directly there. You don't want this. You don't want this. You don't want that. Oop. Uh, you don't want that. You want this. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna hit cancel. Yes, I'm gonna. Yep. And your song should be here, your playlist rather. 
The only uh, side uh, drawback is that it does not have autoplay. I I'm scouring the internet to find a solution to this, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It, ha it doesn't have autoplay, but if you can get across that, then it's just going to be a really, it's it's just a really cool looking uh, thing to have, it's like a novelty. But um, if any of you can find something better, then please tell me because I just got Tumblr and I want to play some music without having to go to iTunes and boosting up lag on my computer and etc. So yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, please comment. Um, this is A6 Time Warp signing out. This is A6 Time Warp signing out!